Hey there, engineers. Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Once again, we're looking at a problem from geotechnical engineering, and this one's dealing with effective stress. And it reads like this. The soil directly below a column footing has a, a total compressive stress of 1,500 pounds per foot squared. The water table is six foot higher than the bottom of the footing. What is most nearly the effective stress under the footing? And we have an array of possible answers here. Well, let's um, look at a graphic that I took the liberty of developing or drawing um, that kind of shows what's going on. So here's our footing. It's uh, Here's the surface, the ground surface. Uh, looks like we've got our water table here that's six foot above the base of the footing. And at the base of the footing... Um, there is a compressive stress in the soil of 1,500 pounds per square foot, which is represented by this distributed load right here. And uh, this is basically what we're dealing with. So um, we've got this 1,500 PSF down below the footing, but it is below the water table, six foot below the water table. So let's see if we can't figure out what the effective stress is on this thing. Um, now, if uh, you look in your FE reference handbook, you're going to find the formula for effective stress, which was sigma prime effective stress equals the total stress, or sigma, minus U, which is the pore water pressure. And U, if you'll remember, equals the depth of the water or the pressure head sometimes it's called times the unit weight of water gamma sub w is what the poor water pressure is okay so using these formulas let's see if we can't figure out what we've got here should be pretty straightforward so we know our total stress is our 1500 psf and we know the depth of our water is six feet. And I think we can figure out what gamma sub W is for the unit weight of water. Um, let's see if we can't uh, do a quick calculation on this thing. So if I say total stress is 1,500 pounds per foot squared. And the unit weight of water... I know is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. Um, and I know my depth. Let's see if we can't get at this. So if I say that my effective stress or my sigma prime equals my total stress, 1,500 pounds per foot squared minus my pore water pressure, which is going to be the depth of my water at 6 feet times the unit weight of water, 62.4 pounds per foot cubed. And if I take 1,500 pounds, I subtract 6 times 62.4 um, just checking my units real quick. I should end up with pounds per foot squared minus pounds per foot squared, right? This cube goes down to squared and that disappears. And if I calculate that out, I should end up with 1125.6 pounds per foot squared which looks like corresponds closest to answer B in this example. So um, nice little problem dealing with effective stress. Hopefully that helps you out. We'll see you on the next one.